What's up YouTube, Zinazor here, and today I have a video for you talking about the Nexus Prime. If you can see on the screen, I have the word Galaxy and Nexus both right next to each other. And uh, right here I'm at the google.com slash Nexus website. This is the official Nexus Prime. Uh, you can register now at this website. I'll have all the links in the description. Register now. It's really um, informative. They give you a lot of specs and they give you a whole glimpse of what the Nexus Prime is going to be. So now we have confirmed details of what it's going to look like. Right there at the top, you can see a front-facing camera. You can see a um, new look to the uh, OS. This is 4.0 confirmed. It's Android 4.0 uh, ice cream sandwich. And it brings an entirely new look and feel to Android. The lock screen, widgets, notifications, multitasking, and everything in between has been rethought and refined to make Android simple, beautiful, and beyond smart. So this looks really, really simple and easy to use. Uh, it looks a lot cleaner than Android currently for me on my iPhone. And uh, for some reason in this picture, if you saw the, the picture right here, you can see the capacitive touch buttons lit up. And here you don't. That's just something I just noticed, just a little thing I noticed. Nothing, I don't think there's anything to uh, say about that. I really don't know what that is about, but uh, yeah, that's all I saw. So face unlock, that's like, I guess, face recognition. Um, it's telling you to smile at the phone with your front-facing camera, and it will be able to recognize your face and unlock the phone. So that, again, is another security measure. We saw that on the Atrix 4G from Motorola on AT&T that it had finger uh, print recognition. This is probably stepping it up a lot more by recognizing the uh, contours of your face and understanding who is unlocking the phone. So you have Android Beam and you can easily share contacts, websites, app, apps, maps, directions, and YouTube videos to other people close by. Something about this seems just a little bit similar to iCloud. But uh, then again, these companies are competing, so they're going to have similar ideas, just uh, different names, and some of them are going to have different specifics. So, um, kind of reminding me of iCloud, just called Android Beam, just my opinion of it. You have voice typing, which is not the newest thing. You just speak into the phone, and it will type in text, SMS, emails, anything, basically. And uh, so you see... That even reminds me even more of Siri, just the fact that there's um, a little microphone in the bottom middle of the screen. It's not purple, but it's it just really reminds me of Siri, in my opinion. Um, you have Google+, Plus, which is not new, it's just they're explaining that you can have it. And then you have a single motion panoramic camera, which is probably going to be one of the best cameras currently available on a phone. Um, I know it's kind of hard to read, but with Galaxy Nexus, you get a high-end camera with zero shutter lag, automatic focus, uh, top-notch low-light performance, and a simple, intuitive way to take panoramic pictures. No stitching needed. Take amazing photos or 1080p videos, edit and then share them right from your phone. See, this is something that people are going to rave about. This is definitely one of the key features of this phone, is that panoramic uh, single motion camera. This is some really, really good stuff that they've put inside this phone. they got a really, really high definition display. This is a high definition SMOLED display. Um, I know in my previous video I said Super AMOLED HD. Um, this is definitely going to be high quality. Um, I did correctly define that it would have a 4.65 inch screen in my other video, which by the way I'll have a link right here. Click on this Android right here. This Click on this Nexus Prime right here. I'll have a link for that for a couple seconds. Click on that and it'll take you to my rumors video, which rounds up all the rumors for the uh, Nexus Prime that was rumored to be released last week or the week before that, something a little, uh, not a long time ago, but uh, basically I just have a, a video that rounds up the rumors. So with an edge-to-edge -edge 720p screen, high definition, videos look amazing and the unique contour display curves nicely the shape of your face and makes it easier to hold. 
Um, so this is going to be a really nice and comfortable phone to hold. Um, 4.65 inches, so it's not the smallest phone out there. Definitely not an iPhone. It's definitely not as small as an iPhone. It's it's almost an inch larger than the iPhone, and it's even larger than my Droid X right here. It's even larger than this. So um, I don't know how big this is going to be. Obviously, people can cope with the Galaxy S2, which is five inches, but um, I don't know. I don't know what the point is when it starts getting uncomfortable. This seems like it's right at the point where it's it's not too big, not too small. At first, I thought a Droid X at 4.3 inches diagonally would be too big. Um, now it's I consider it to be uh, fine. So a couple of um, like centimeters over that won't affect it that much but uh, I guess the people that get this phone will have to decide for themselves so like I said before slim and curved design 4.29 millimeter bezel and an 8.84 millimeter thick um, so it's 8.8 mil 8.84 millimeters thick so that's a very thin phone uh, I just want to point that out because that is going to be a really nice feature about this so we're down to the last fact, and it is fast and 4G. So uh, I believe in my rumors video, I also mentioned that it would have a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, which you can see right here. And in my previous video, I explained that it would be on 4G LTE or HSPA+. Um, HSPA+, I believe that is uh, AT&T's network. I don't remember. Uh, don't start commenting and hating on the video if I don't know my facts, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, this phone looks like it's going to be a really solid phone. You can find out more by registering. At the bottom, they have an obnoxiously large link to register. Put in your email. I'll have the link in the description. And, uh, yeah, and once again, click on this Android right here. I'll have a box right here that will show you uh, where my rumor, my rumor roundup video is. I'll take all the rumors that I got from various trusted sources, put them into one video, and that's it. This was made, the rumor video was made before this. Now we have confirmed specs, but uh, if you want to watch that anyway, feel free. So, um, this has been a look at the official, the official facts and speculations, specs of the Galaxy Nexus Prime from Google and Samsung. So please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will have more videos soon. Once again, click on that Nexus Prime right there to take it to my rumor video. And uh, peace.